Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, Can You Walk in My Shoes? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit one on the right and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? Mark 10, 37-38 there are many who will look at your success, your achievements, your glory, if you will. Some will rejoice, and some will no doubt be envious. But rarely will they take the time out to know that there's a story behind the glory. You may be driving a fancy car. They don't know the struggle that you've had to pay off the loan. They might see you in a nice house. They don't know the many nights you had to go to bed hungry and make various sacrifices in order to live comfortable. They might see in a wonderful marriage. They don't know how you've been tested and tried. You both called it quits. They might see you living single and looking happy. They don't know how loneliness at times puts you to severe depression. Yes, there are many who are impressed by the end product, but nobody knows the process that brought you here. Life doesn't begin with a destination. It begins with a journey. That journey is the process that gets you through to your destiny. There are three aspects of Jesus' life that all of us, at some point in time, are going to have to go through. These are his period of obscurity. This is when nobody knew him. He was just considered as son of Joseph and Mary. Then came his period of popularity. This is where everybody knew him. Everybody wanted to be associated with Jesus. Everybody wanted to be a disciple. There came a point in time as he was entering Jerusalem that they broke palm leaves and took their robes off and shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. But then came his period of rejection. With the same mouths that shouted Hosanna, but now shouting, crucify him. Persons don't understand that the smile that is on your face is very expensive. You had to pay a great price in order to smile. So my dear brother, before you speak about my glory, you have to know what I've been through. Jesus was faced with a dilemma where two of his disciples, they wanted the glory, but did not know there was a process. They asked the master, and one will sit on the left and one will sit on the right in his glory. Then Jesus reminded them, that before we can get to that level, there's got to be a process. Many of us are not at our stage of achievements or glory. The truth is, many of us are still going through a process. Then we have a tendency to take a look at others who have completed their journey somewhat and begin to feel frustrated because it seems as if everybody is getting ahead but you. But can I tell you? God made those shoes specifically for you and nobody can walk in them but you. I'm encouraging you. There's coming a day when your tears are going to be dried up. There's coming a time when you're going to be able to go to the supermarket like everybody else. There's coming a time when you go to the gas station and you can do that thing that you always wanted to do and say, fill it up. <laughs> Wear your shoes. In order for you to get your glory, you have to go through your journey. The quote of the day, many will look at your glory, but they don't know your story. As you go today, go knowing. Don't be discouraged by the journey, but just be focused on the glory that's ahead. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.